Hello, my YouTube friend. I have another mega epic Funko Pop haul. Tons of really awesome pops today. It's actually a pretty cool collection for my store because it's a lot of stuff I have already, but it's a lot of exclusives and pops are in like the $15 to $25 range. So this collection is going to be a lot of fun for people that visit my shop. But plus, there's a couple of things I actually really want for my collection. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so this collection comes from a guy named Kevin. He brought them in about a week ago. He said he had parts of his collection at his house and at his friend's house and that it was just overwhelming. And he decided it was time. He wanted to kind of keep just the expensive stuff and kind of clear out some of the cheaper stuff. And just focus his collection and just have some choice pieces instead of like a whole wall of pops. Which I've seen a lot lately in New York City because... Honestly, it's hard to have a lot of pops in New York City because rents are expensive and there's just not a lot of spare space. I paid him $657 for everything. I believe it's about $1,400 worth of pops. I basically gave him 50% of the pop price guide for anything that was $12 or more. And anything that was like $11 and less, I gave him 40% of the pop price guide. Okay, so let's start digging through all these boxes and bins. Okay, we're going to go through this box first. I'm actually kind of running out of bins because there are so many things that were sold to me recently. So I uh, I was using mail bins. I need to order more of my banker boxes because I love using those for pops because you can fit 30 Funko Pops in it perfectly. Okay, first box. Let's see what we got. Ah, okay, cool. We have a full killer Hot Topic exclusive Deadpool pop. Very cool. This one's a bit dented up, so I'll have to discount it a little bit. But still, very cool pop. Have that one already. Uh, we have a... Glow in the Dark Black Panther Walmart exclusive. This one's very cool. Okay, we have a Box Lunch exclusive BB-9E from Star Wars. I don't remember if I got that one. That one I might need. I'm going to double check that one. Pretty sure I have it though. Okay, we have the Walmart exclusive Alpha 5 from Power Rangers. This one I definitely have. So, so far, as you can see, it's a lot of those like $15 to $25 pops. Really in-demand stuff. This is the kind of stuff that most people are looking for when they come to my shop. Uh, okay, we have the Yellow Power Ranger. This is from the Black Friday box three or four years ago. Very cool pop. Okay. Uh, we have the comic version of Black Panther from Target. Love this one. This one's really cool. Do have that one, though. I think I actually had the majority of these. Most collections I've been getting recently are stuff that I don't have because it's newer stuff. This stuff is all slightly older. And that slightly older stuff I have already, for the most part. Uh, okay, we have Snake Eyes. This one's super cool. Do have that one, but I'm sure someone will want it. Next we have, oh, okay, we have Alex the Large. This is from the horror mystery boxes. I think there's like four different pops you can get. This is super cool. I have this one already, but I'm sure someone's going to want that one right away. That's a $40-ish pop. Definitely an in-demand pop. Uh, okay, we have Roblox from G.I. Joe. Awesome. I wish you would do more G.I. Joe pops and a couple G.I. Joe rides. <laughs> I like G.I. Joe. That was one of my favorite toy lines when I was growing up. Uh, oh, okay. Next we have the GameStop only Yellow Ranger, but the gold one. This one I think I actually needed. So that was kind of like the chase in the Black Friday box that year. So I'm actually really happy to get that. Awesome. I like collections when there's actually things I want. <laughs> uh, okay, we have the Specialty Series Iceman. This one I definitely have. Next we have, oh, we have the Qui-Gon Jinn. It's a 2017 Galactic Convention exclusive from Star Wars. Glows in the Dark. I don't think I had that one yet. So that's another one for the collection. Awesome. Okay. Next, we have the Han Solo 2017 Galactic Convention exclusive. This one I do have. Then we have, ooh, we have a Flocked Winnie the Pooh. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. This one I don't remember if I have or not. I, I sort of think I have. So that one I'm going to double check. If I don't have it though, that's awesome. And if I do have it, I'm sure someone will be very happy to pick them up. Uh, ooh, okay. We have the Alien Chase from Independence Day. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do have this one, but I do like it. That's cool. And one more in this box. Okay, we have the Target exclusive Golden Midas Batman. I think I have this one, but my box might be damaged. This actually might be a box upgrade. So that one I'm going to double check. Okay, box one was pretty awesome. A lot of really cool $15 to $25 pops. A couple of cheaper ones. But it's the kind of stuff I really like to see in a collection when I'm buying. Because I know it's stuff that people want to buy. I know there's going to be a few things that I really want that are kind of harder to get. And overall, it's just a fun collection to buy. Next, we have a cardboard tray of pops. Let's go through here. Okay, what do we have? Okay, we have the Demogorgon Chase. That one I do have. We have the FYE exclusive Dragon Shield Red Ranger. I don't know if I have this version of him. So that's actually kind of cool. That one I'm going to have to double check. 
I know I'm missing a few Power Rangers, so that might be one of them. Ah, this one's cool. I really like this one. We have the FYE exclusive Jimi Hendrix. This one's awesome. I love this pop. I do have it already, but I'm sure someone else will really want it. I love the Pop Rocks line. I, I just like collecting them. I like that they keep adding more and more. I would like to see a lot more artists added, though. Really cool line. Okay, we have the Rowdy Roddy Piper from Target. This one I don't have, but I don't really collect the wrestling props. So that one I'll be selling. And the wrestling stuff always sells well. Uh, okay, we have the previews exclusive Unmasked Deadpool. This one I do have. Very cool pop. Not super valuable pop, but one I know someone will definitely want. Okay, next we have... Oh, we have the Flocked Animal. I love this pop. I believe I do have this one, but someone will definitely want it. And this one's a little bit more expensive. I think that's like a $40, $50, $60 pop. I have to double check the value. But definitely an in-demand pop. Cool, I like it and stuff like that. Uh, okay, next we have the Hot Topic Exclusive 11 Underwater. Very awesome pop. I love pops that are in helmets or domes. That one I do have though, so that one will be going to my shop. So far, just a couple I needed, but really cool ones. Uh, okay, we have the Target Exclusive Weapon X. This one is awesome. It's got a little bit of a ding up there, so I'll have to mark it down a little bit. But still, very cool pop. Do have that one already. Okay, next we have the Stingray Hot Topic Exclusive. This was from the mystery box where there's four different Deadpools you could get. That one I do have already. Okay, next we have Howard the Duck. Love this pop. Do have it already, but I'm sure someone will be happy to get them. Okay, next we have... Oh, sweet! Okay, so we have the Funko Shop Exclusive Kurt Cobain. This is one I missed out on. This one has some value of like 60-ish dollars. This one I don't have, so I'm actually really thrilled to pick that one up. Awesome. Okay, next we have the Hot Topic Exclusive Deadpool where he's a pirate. I believe I have this one, but there is one or two pops I'm missing from the Deadpool line. And I can't remember which one, so this one I'm going to have to double check. They all kind of blend together to me, so sometimes I kind of mix them up. They're very similar, so that one might be for sale. Awesome, I'm so happy you get that. Okay, so trade number two, done. Okay, now I have the first mail bin full of pops. Let's see what we got. <laughs> All right, I'm sure there's more cool stuff. Ah, okay, we have the Bloody Predator from Hot Topic. Love this pop. This pop is really cool. Uh, I think the value's dropped on it recently, so I think it's down to like 20-ish dollars. I'm sure someone will pick that one up. Okay, next we have the Gizmo Duck. It's a Target exclusive. This one, someone will definitely want. I do have that one already, but every time I get them, he sells real quick. Uh, okay, we have the Target exclusive Doctor Strange where he's in like the astral plane. Really cool pop. I do have that one already. Next we have... Ooh, we have the Chase Jack Torrance. I don't think I have this one yet. Or at least I don't remember if I have it. Oh, that was cool. If I don't have it, I'm definitely keeping it. I have a slight thought that maybe I got it recently. I just don't remember. I buy all these giant collections and sometimes there's just so much stuff. I just don't remember. I think I don't have it though. So I'm actually really happy to get that. Oh, this is cool. We have the New York Comic Con from 2015, I think. Yeah, yeah, 2015. It's a God of War Kratos. This is a really awesome looking pop. I do have that one already, though, so I'm sure someone will want it. He's cool. Uh, okay, we have the Grand Admiral Thrawn from the 2070 Galactic Convention. Really cool pop. I love the way he looks. That one I do have already. He's pretty awesome, though. Uh, okay, we have the Loot Crate Super Saiyan Goku. He's in metallic. Really cool looking pop. That one I do have as well. But Dragon Ball Z stuff sells so well. So I'm sure someone will pick them up right away. Oh, okay. We have the Toys R Us exclusive hit from Dragon Ball Super. Another one I have already, but I'm sure it'll be picked up right away. Okay. Oh, we have the Flocked Crash Bandicoot. It's a GameStop exclusive. Now, I know I have three different flashes, but I might just have the common version. So I might actually need that. That one I'm going to have to double check. If I don't have it, that's super cool, though. I love Flocked Pops. Okay, very cool. Uh, next, we have the Master from The Strain. This is just like a really big chunky pop. Really cool looking, very creepy though. <laughs> I do like that one. Okay, next we have the FYE exclusive Deadpool. This one I definitely have. Okay, next we have the White Ranger. I don't remember if I have this version. I might just have the original version of him, which is worth more, but this one I think is vaulted now as well. So that one I'm gonna have to double check. Okay, next we have, oh, we have the Hot Top exclusive Scorpion Flaming Skull version. Love this pop because all the fires are translucent. He is super cool. I'm pretty sure I have that one, but that one I'm going to double check. Okay, next we have the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Young Ford from Westworld. Very cool pop. I do have that one already. I I'm not sure how easy he'll be to sell, but I personally, I love Westworld, so I don't mind having them stick around a little bit. 
Next we have, ooh, we have the Unmasked Iron Spider from Box Lunch. I think I have this one. Uh, I'm going to ask my patron, Sam. She might actually need that one. And obviously if she needs it, it's hers. Okay, next we have, ooh, we have the Gossamer, the specialty series from Looney Tunes. I don't remember if I have this one. I actually might need him. He's cool looking. I love weird, goofy monsters and stuff. So that's really cool. Okay, next we have, ooh, we have the Think Geek Upside Down Will. This one I have already. But I know someone will buy it right away because this one always sells when I get it. Very cool pop. Okay, that bin is done. Okay, so far just a handful of ones that I needed, but really awesome ones that I really wanted. And a ton of stuff for my shop. Okay, let's go through this mail bin. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, oh, we have the X-Force version of Deadpool from GameStop. I don't know if I have this specific version. I know I have one of the gray tone ones, but I don't know if it's that one. So that one I'm actually going to double check. He's cool. Uh, ooh, we have Space Ghost. It's a Toy Tokyo exclusive. This one is cool. Now, I think one of my patrons wants this one. It's a little bit dented, so I'm going to ask him if that's okay. If it is, though, that one's his. Okay, next we have... Oh, this is super cool. We have the Gold Iron Fist. It's a previous exclusive. Uh, I don't think I have this one. I really like that his fists are translucent, so they look like he's got the Iron Fist glow going. That's actually really cool. Next we have... Oh, we have the Hot to Hop exclusive May from Overwatch. I don't think I have this version. I think I just have the common version. That's actually really cool. I think I need that one. Awesome. Okay, sweet. We're kind of hitting a few that I need. I love it. Ah, uh, okay. We have the 2016 New York Comic Con exclusive Deadpool as a chef. That one I definitely have. Next, we have a lot of Deadpools. Ah, we have the common Deadpool. This one I definitely have. So I won't go into the shop. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, we have the Walgreens exclusive Deadpool where he's holding a chicken. This one I definitely have. That one I hunted down out of Walgreens. So I know I have that one. Next, we have... Okay, we have the Toys R Us exclusive Gwenpool. This one is cool. Pretty sure I have that one, though. So I'll go into the shop. Okay, next we have the 2017 New York Comic Con Old Man Logan. Really cool pop. I love the original Old Man Logan series, so I do love that pop. I do have that one already, though. That's one I picked up right away. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we have Deadpool 111. This one I'm pretty sure I have already. So that's for the shop. Most of these are for the shop. <laughs> okay, we have Deadpool 112. Okay, maybe I'm mixing these two up because 111, 112. So one he's doing thumbs up and one he's just got the two swords. I actually might need one of these two because I was uh, thinking it's the same thing, but it's actually two different. That was a little confusing. <laughs> so many Deadpools. Oh, I love this one. It's the, was it 2016? Yeah, the 2016 Kamikaze exclusive Colossus. This is how they should do Chrome Pops. He's Chrome, but they painted him. I wish every Chrome Pop had some parts of it painted. Just to give it a little bit more detail so it wasn't just one flat color. I think that would make the Chrome Pops really awesome. I hate that the ones that they do now are just one color. I mean, they're really cool because when they're on a giant wall of Pops, the Chrome ones really pop out because the light reflects off of them. But still, I kind of wish they would paint details like this one. This is the perfect Chrome Pop. Love it. I'm sure someone will buy it right away. Ah, I love this one too. We have the Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal. He is super cool. And again, his fire is translucent. So I just, I love the way that one looks. Do have that one already though. Okay, next we have the Venom Pool with Phone. It's a GameStop exclusive from the Contest of Champions. This one I know I have, so that one will go in the shop. Okay, let's find some stuff I need. <laughs> uh, okay, we have a Hot Top exclusive Deadpool. This is the one I think I have, so I actually... Uh, where is he? This one? So I actually might need that one and have that one already. That's my guess. I could be wrong, though. I might have them both. <laughs> Sometimes I buy so many pops, it's hard to keep track. Super cool. Okay, next we have... Oh, we have the Chase Eric Killmonger. I do have this one. But Chases are easy to sell. People always want the Chases. Okay. Ah, we have Deadpool the Duck. It's a Walgreens exclusive. This one is cool. I do have this one. But every time I get them, he sells within a day. So I'm sure someone will be thrilled to pick them up. Okay. And then the last one in here is another plain Deadpool. Uh, not sure if this one's a duplicate or if he's a little bit different. I'm going to have to double check that one. But I'm pretty sure I have that one. Okay, so that's the end of that bin. Okay, home stretch. We got one bin left. I think there's probably one or two more that I need, but I for, kind of forget. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I, this is the one I need. This is cool. We have a Big Trouble in Little China Low Pan. It's a previous exclusive. Glows in the dark. He looks so cool because his vinyl is like kind of slightly translucent and pale. I just love the way he looks. He is such a cool pop. That one I definitely need. 
As you can see, the ones I need are usually the more expensive or kind of rarer ones. Uh, oh, Storm Shadow. This one is cool. I do love this pop. Storm Shadow is one of my favorite characters from G.I. Joe. Him and Snake Nice. I mean, they're the two you'd want. That one I do have already. Ah, uh, okay. We have Suter from Thor Ragnarok. This is an awesome pop. It's a GameStop exclusive. This is a pop I wish they made a six inch when it came out. But still very really awesome. I love his translucent look. He's just a cool pop. Do have that one already, though. Okay, next we have... Oh, this is cool. We have the Funko Shop exclusive Okoye. Love this pop. I think the one I have already is the Pop Culture sticker. So I actually might keep that as a sticker variant. Because I love that pop. She's such a cool character. Okay, next we have... Ah, the real monsters. Ickis. It's a 2017 New York Comic Con exclusive. This one I'm pretty sure I have already. Okay, next we have the X-Men Deadpool. He's blue. Ah, this one confuses me. Because I know I have a couple blue Deadpools. So I'm not sure if I have this specific one. I think there's a Amazon exclusive one. I think a FYE exclusive that I actually showed you earlier in the video. So I might actually need that one. That's a double checker. Uh, ooh, I love this one. We have the 2018 ECC Comic Con exclusive Yandu. Awesome pop. The, you know, the Mary Poppins scenes pop. That one I do have already. But, you know, he's like a $50 pop. He's going to sell right away because people love that one. Very awesome pop. Uh, okay, we have the previous exclusive Deadpool in suit. I really like this one. This one is cool. I do have that one, though. What I do like in this question is there's a lot of really cool pop stuff like this and stuff like the Yondu. Things that are interesting that people are going to want. So I like getting collections like that because I know it'll be easy to sell. And I know it's going to make a lot of collectors happy. Uh, oh, this one's cool. We have Joyce in the Biohazard suit from Stranger Things. Love this pop. She is awesome. I do have that one already. I think the last set I had sold really quick. Uh, okay, we have the Sagittarius from the Funko Shop. I don't remember if I have this one. I have only two or three of the Astrological Pops. So this one I'm going to double check. So I, I might need it, but I'm not 100% sure I might actually have it already. I know I have Cancer and I might have Virgo. I'm not 100% sure. That I'm going to double check. Okay, very awesome. Okay, next we have... Okay, we have Madcap. This is a Hot Topic exclusive. This is also from that mystery box. It looks like it got a little bit crushed here, which I'll have to mark it down a little bit, but... He is cool. I do have that one already. Okay, next we have... Ooh, we have the liquor from Resident Evil. He's super creepy. Cool. I love this one. Pretty sure I do have this one already, though. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, oh, cool. We have the Duck Dodgers Chase. Pretty sure I have that one, but he is cool. I do love that one. Next we have... Okay, we have the Deadpool with Duck. It's a Target exclusive. I actually might not have this one. I'm probably mixing him up with the one holding the chicken. This one I'm going to have to double check. If I don't have it though, that's awesome. I would love to complete that set. Okay, and then we... Oh, we have a duplicate. <laughs> okay, so there's at least one for sale. <laughs> Duplicates make it easy. Uh, okay, we have a slapstick from Hot Topic. It's another one of those mystery ones that came with like four different ones. So I'm pretty sure I have that one already. Okay, next year... Oh, this is cool. We have the unmasked Deadpool in the x Force suit. I, uh, I'm pretty sure I have this one, but I'm going to double check. It's a previous exclusive. Either way, if he's for sale, he's super cool. I'm sure someone will want him. And if I don't have him, I'm super happy because I need him. <laughs> I mean, that's why I do videos and I buy collection stuff because I want to add to my collection. That's my main drive. Oh, this is cool. We have the Musashi. It's a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from 2017. Now, I believe I have this one, but I have the shared sticker. So this is the actual con sticker. So this actually, I might keep this as a sticker right that is really cool. And I probably wouldn't be able to sell them that well anyway, so I don't mind keeping them. <laughs> it's not like I'm missing out. He might sit in my store for months on end. Ah, okay. So that's everything in his collection. I thought it was a really cool collection. I think it got a lot of really cool pops, a lot of good stuff that people are going to be happy to pick up, and a lot of cool stuff for my collection. I think the Low Pan and the Kurt Cobain are my two favorite from this collection. These are two really cool pops, and I'm super happy to add them to my collection. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite pops were from this collection. I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. With their help, I'm able to do more videos like this more often. If you want to help support my channel as well, I'll put a link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching one of my videos and you enjoy this mega epic Funko Pop haul, why don't you click the robot's face and subscribe? Why not? I'll make more videos like this just for you. I'm going to put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.